Alan. Uh, are we? Oh, Robbie. Um, you're you're not. I wasn't quite ready. You're not supposed to uh, come to the chat yet. Uh, this is such a, a pleasant surprise. How are you, Robbie? Alan, what are you thinking about right now? <laughs> what am I thinking about? Yeah. Um, what are you thinking about? Uh, well, there's like a there's there's like a couple weird guys in in the chat, and, and I was just thinking about like I hope they don't come. They're like, I don't know if you can see, but there's some guys back there, and I was just kind of thinking about I hope they don't come up to where I am. Is there um, huh? Uh, it's that's new. Um, is can I can can I see them? Why can't I see them? You can kind of see them. It's like the chat. The green chat stuff goes around them, and yeah. it makes their shape. I don't know. Oh, I get it. Like camouflage. I don't know how it works in here. It's. I think it's camouflage. I think that's what that's <laughs> called. That's what, that's um. That's it. That's uh, what else are you thinking about? How are you doing? Feeling okay. I've got a. Uh, um. You know, got a lot of thoughts right now. Uh, just been thinking a lot. What? And um. Yeah, you know, maybe you think it too much. I don't know. Um, what about that? Uh, what, was, what was that game that you you got on sale? Dark Souls Two. Uh, yeah, yeah. What, what about that? Well, why don't you uh, talk about that? I, I, yeah. Um, so Dark Souls Two, I haven't really been playing it. Um, I, it, I haven't really had time. There's been a lot of um, stuff going on up there, and uh, uh, but you know, I, I did update that that drawing that I showed you a couple weeks back. Can we see the drawing? Uh, up on the screen there. You updated it. Yeah, I updated it. You see, any, you see anything different? Hmm. I don't know what what what's that kind of what's on. that like gray smudge by the moon under that train? What is that? It's a cloud. That was there last time. There's nothing. That that's not it. There's a come on. There's obvious. There's a very obvious thing here, Alan. Hmm. Is it the the train has been there the whole right, time? I remember the clouds, the, train. the rocks in the water. With and if you if you, if you look closely <laughs> at the rocks in the water, you yeah. see there's a little bit of detail there. The, did the you really add excellent de amount did of you detail. Add detail? No, the details always been there. I just you know looking at it, you know I don't get to see it like this very often. I only get to see it a couple days uh, uh, a, a month, and uh, it's got these nice little dark shapes underneath the water that are where like the, yeah it's underneath. So it's not just floating on tops. So it's gonna get it to that depth. Well, I don't know. Is it the, is it the gun? Yeah, it's the gun. You're right. It's that. <laughs> so you know, remember last time it was the uh, Halo 2 battle rifle, <laughs> and now it's the M1 uh, uh, Garand or or Garand. Uh, I I never really figured out how to say that out loud. Um, okay. From, from like those old like World War II shooters. It's like the best rifle that you can have. It's the best. It's the it's it's hands down the best assault rifle there is. Hands down, uh, and, and you can you can spend all day trying to convince me otherwise. But if I'm in a World War II shooter and I see one, I'm dropping whatever I've got, uh, MP40s, anything. Always go with the M1. Always. Okay, noted. Yeah. Back to you, Robbie. Um. Alan. Uh, yes. You know that game I made up. Uh, yeah, of course. <laughs> yes. What's your favorite part? Uh, but my favorite part about the game you made up, it's got to be the characters, hands down. What's your favorite character? Well, I like, um, I think his name is Philip. You, Philip. Yeah, uh, I like Philip. I, he's that kid. He, he's always running on rooftops. I, I think that's kind of fun. He's kind of always like. You mean that? You mean this Philip? You mean this Philip right here? Uh, oh, yeah. That's him. That's, that's, that's Philip. That's Philip. You like Philip? <laughs> yeah, there he is. Alan, can you explain to me in great detail what you like about Philip? Um, I like I like Philip. He's I like how small he is. I think that's kind of neat. Like if you were to meet a woman and then and she was like a, a bigger woman and he's so small, I think yeah. that's fu a fun character quality. He's a little guy and he he's got big hands too. He's mischievous. Yeah, and I think he's got. Uh, I would. You could probably. What do you think? What if you had hands that big? If you let me see your hands. Put your hands by your head. Those are big hands for a kid, for sure. Absolutely, 100%. My hands are Philip's hands. Philip's hands, Alan. Your hands are, are very small. What would you, but we're, we're hypothetically, Alan, what would you, 
hold in those big old hands if you had those. Come on. If I had a yeah, hands like on. that, I'd probably hold about like yeah, this, is your, uh, this is your life, man. Okay. Yeah, this is okay, your life. Okay. If I was Philip and I had big, big, uh, big hands, yes. I would hold three big pears and an apple. And that's kind of what I would carry around on my day. Is that a good answer? Would you hold? What are we doing? What would you hold? Would you hold? Uh, your, where does Philip hang out? He hangs out on uh, rooftops. 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 So what do you got to have to get up on those those old tops? Um, a, a ladder? What are you asking? Big hands. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Alan, what are people in the chat saying about Philip? Come on. Okay, I'll ask. What about Phil? Though they said his hands look sw swollen. He's not swollen. Big hands, strong hands. Okay. Those, uh, the hand, those are the hands of someone who's had, who's had to grip and oh, pull. Someone, M Moop says that. Fun fact: the painting Moop. of Philip is actually an adult man. That's a painting of an adult man. Oh, pff. Moop said that. I don't believe. Uh, oh, someone asks: is 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 it an oil painting? I don't. I don't know. I don't. It's, it's, I a, don't it's an image know. on the screen. What, what? What? Hey, Alan. Guess what? Got some more fan art. Really? Yeah. Let me see that. Yeah, we got some fan art. Let's show you right here. See that? That's beautiful. Oh see that? God. Right wow. there. Yeah. That's. Um, it, look at that. It's great, isn't it? It's 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 really it's it, this is one this is this is great. It's uh, got uh, me there. I think that's me, right? With Ye a hat. That's yes. This hat right here. Yes. And. Uh, there, there's like the city in the background, and 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 uh, there's uh, what do you got? Um, seventh guest, eleventh hour. Those are classic uh, adventure games. I love CD those games. Adventure games. Absolutely, so cool. Um, and look here in the middle, you can see in the middle. There's that's Damn. my wife Katie. Oh wow! Yeah, that's my wife, and uh, she's eating those cheese fries. She Ooh. loves, she loves, she loves the cheese fries. That's so sweet. And, uh, what's going on down there at the bottom? I don't know. I don't really understand what's going on down there. Uh, it looks like. Um, you know, there's could be like this could be like a sad thing that's <coughs> happening, a, a sad part of my soul that maybe you know I haven't really been able to express. Wait, no, 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 no. That's. I think that's me. Can I see that again? That's that's, that's me. That's you. Yeah, that's me, and then that's my. Those are the hats. Because you know how remember. How, are you sure that I think? That, yeah, yeah. Those are all the hats. I, you know how I I don't wear that right. hat. That you're not wearing. Why? Well, there's the, a, a lot of great. Details in there. Oh, uh, here's another good one. Uh, this is <coughs> this is uh, of you and me. This is by, oh, that was by Shaq, that, by the way. Okay, Shaq, the basketball player. Shaq. Yeah, yeah, I know. See Shaq. the name right there. Great. You know he doesn't just dunk. He does it all. Um, you got uh, this is from uh, this is from Mel. Mel. Yeah, I think that's is out a, of focus. There's is, some wrong. There's this has got this great these uh, great scan line details. It's uh, these that's, are this is from uh, this is from it's not a drawing. It, but. It's that's still like art. A, it's it's art, Alan. This is this no, is somebody like a expressing, from the show expressing themselves uh, beautifully, and uh, it's got all of these wonderful. Uh, this is from a couple of uh, uh, this is from a couple of specials ago, but it it's still cool. it's still you know ageless, timeless. Yeah. Here's a little. Here's another one. What 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 does that remind you of? Is that? Kind of looks like Philip. Oh yeah. Can I see that again? Oh yeah. yeah it's it looks Phillip. like Philip. If Philip was sad and he was uh, behind a branch. But instead, he's happy and in like front Phillip. of a branch. This is this is the kind of interpretation <laughs> that 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 uh, well, this is the kind of imagination that will uh, ins that inspires and carries you through. This is from from Alice. Thank, Thank you so you, much, Alice. Alice. You said Moop was in the chat, right? Yes. Well, guess what else? Moop sent us in what some drawings. Heck, is that of you as an animal man? <laughs> that looks That's like you me. As, a, as as as. But uh, I'm an animal. You're you're like a like a cat. I'm like a. What you're, kind like of a a cat? Funny, you're like a funny cat. <laughs> what? Oh, thank you, Moop, what for you drawing think? me as a funny cat. That's, that's me. That's, that's Alan my... on the chat. That's me. And there, there is your hat. There's no question. I don't. I'm not sure about this. This earlier one from Shaq, but right. this one from Moop. That's definitely you. That's definitely you there. I uh, and there's yeah, this one. This is me, me as a as a as a. Um, what do you call that? Um, what uh, is that? Uh, I think that's a. Well, it's it's it, look at that. It's beautiful. Such detail. Uh, I love. I love. I love the, the what's around the neckline. I don't know what that is. What do you think of that? What the hell is that? That, that, that that's a that's a. These, look, it's it's got some words on it. it. Says, "I love my games, but I love my best friend Alan more." And that's a draw. That's the that's 
a no. drawing of you, Alan. No, 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 That's no, me no, looking no. at you. I know, no. The way that I look at you, when, I, when I'm seeing, when I'm looking at you out here. Can you put that back up? Yeah, I got you. Got you. Okay, so that's you, yeah, obviously. That's, yeah, I obviously. I can see that's you. It's got your hairline. It's got yeah, your jawline. It's but got then my earbuds you're in You're looking it too. at someone, but that's not me. That is you. What are you talking about? It's you. It's It's got some artistic liberties. I'm not going to lie, but that's you. That's, I, that's you in a, in a headshot right there. That doesn't look like me. Yeah, that's you. That's just... No, 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 you know, no, no. I think Robbie, what, what? How, What's wrong a, with how long have you known me? I don't... I, I have a mustache, yes, but I also... I have a full beard. I've, I well, have a beard. Well, that's what this is. That's stubble. That's not me. I don't... I, I think... I, I, speaking of you, Alan, I think we got... Let's address this. Mm. Little piece of work. Is that me? Yeah, that's you. That's you. That's you. Uh, sleeping on the job. No, 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 no. That's no, you no, sleeping no. on the job. That's no. you getting ready for bed. That's me with a blanket. That's me with a blanket because it, yeah. it's cold in here. Who drew that? This is by uh, Whiplash. Okay. Uh, and, the, and the one previous was Quinn. At Quinn. Whi Quinn. Whiplash. And Whiplash. Whiplash. This is great. Thanks. Thanks. Because um, I'm very cold. I, I, I don't get. And I, I would love a blanket. Because it's actually really cold in the they chat. Must, people must be able to see you uh, going to sleep on the job. Because every time I look at you, you, you look like you're doing your job. I haven't, this is I you haven't sleeping been sleeping. I haven't been sleeping. sleeping I haven't job. been sleeping. I've actually Alan, been freezing what? cold. What? I made a video to build up hype for the game I made up. What? I did. And uh, I think it starts Philip. It's about Philip. Huh. Okay. What? Um, you made a video about the game you made up. And about it's Philip. It's about Philip, the, your favorite character. You said you like the characters. You said your favorite character yes, is Philip. Yes, I do. I do like Philip, but I just think if you make if it's a, if you're making a video about the game you made up, you should focus on some of the more like core details, like maybe the main characters or like the game dynamics or like an overview of the game. But like, it's just a very specific thing to focus on for the first video you made about this game you've been talking about forever. Alan. You like Philip? Uh, yes, of course. All right, we'll check it out. Philip is a child who grew up in Gloomsbrook. He um, spends a lot of time on the rooftops of Gloomsbrook, kind of wandering on his own and discovering things about the inhabitants that he he shares uh, these. Uh, observations with Spawn and Shadowhawk over the course of the game. If something's happening in the town, Philip Philip wants to know about it. He wants to see uh, if you know. He wants to understand it. He wants to be able to communicate about it. Maybe he wants to ha know the secret uh, reasons behind different situations that that might happen. He's uh, curious. To me, that is uh, there's a, a roof is uh, something that is that is above um, most. If you think about the layout of a town, you've got streets, and then you've got uh, walls, and then on top of the walls you have roofs, and, and, and the roofs are uh, sort of a, allow a kind of bird's eye view of um, the life within the town. And, and, and if you think, if you look back at ancient cultures, you see uh, roofs have all of these different types of meanings. Um, in, in many ancient cultures, roofs were some place that you would uh, just used to sort of stay dry during the monsoon or heavy rain season. Uh, roofs were, were places where you put your uh, belongings to keep them safe, uh, you know, in the prehistory times, to, safe from the, the large um, prehistoric birds that would uh, pick up larger objects than birds pick up uh, even today. Um, the, the roof is, is a, is, is, is a place of, of solitude for Philip. It's also a, a place of, of empowerment. If, if you can imagine two people talking to a, it in the street, if you were to see it you know, front on, you might not see that one person has their arm uh, behind them and in, in that arm uh, is, a, is a knife. And if you're on a rooftop, you can see that knife and you can uh, anticipate that moment when the knife comes out and, and stabs and kills. People forget how often children were taken from the inside of the house and put onto the rooftop um, on the outside of the house in order to kind of keep them safe while the parents had to go and do work in the fields or go to, to 
uh, battle with enemies or to uh, go into a woodshop to, to carve beautiful, um, ornate pieces of, of, of wood art. Oftentimes, the parents would return after, you know, doing these jobs and take their children down from the roof. But Philip, to me, it was, was a way to answer the question, what if the child was never taken down from the roof? What if the child just stayed up on the roof? How would that child evolve? How would that change the child? How would that uh, make the life of the child different? than a child that was remembered and, and taken down and put, in, put back inside. You know, Philip is a lot of things to a lot of people. Um, I have to say that, you know, I, I got the idea for, for Philip when I was walking down the street the other day. I was drinking um, this really good iced tea and I walked past uh, a group of kids and there was one kid and he had like a, one of those red hats on. Um, that, that say, you know, you know, that say his name. It's like, you know, sometimes you see a kid named, like, you know, I don't know, like a kid named Beck, you see, like, he has a hat and says Beck on it. So but this has, this was a different name. And the kid in the red hat, he, you know, saw me coming by and he was, he was like, he was chewing on something that I couldn't tell what it was. And then he points at me and he, and he goes, that man doesn't, uh, doesn't know where he's going. Kids say stuff to me all the time, but no child had ever accused me of not knowing where I was going, and I knew exactly where I was going. I was going to the bus stop to catch a bus. I knew, I knew where I was going, but the fact that this uh, kid in a, in a red hat with his name on it had said, I don't know where I was going, my first thought was, well, you don't know where, you don't know where I'm going, but that doesn't mean that I don't know where I'm going. That's not how, that's not how it works. That's not how knowledge works. And I, and I, I really wanted to stop and just take this kid aside and, and say, listen, the life inside of my head is different than the life inside of, uh, inside of your head. And, and, he, and he saw me looking at him and he said, do you know where you're going? And I said, and, and, I, and, I, and I didn't respond because I didn't feel like it was appropriate because he wasn't my child. I, don't, I didn't know who he was. But I, it made me very angry because he was, here was this um, little, little boy uh, on a street corner uh, surrounded by his friends and they all were having a great time at my expense saying that I didn't know where I was going when I perfectly I knew perfectly well where I was going I was going to the bus stop I was going to catch a bus they didn't know where they were going they were just standing there they, they, they might have been uh, waiting for uh, another bus and they but they, they might have been waiting for somebody else to come and meet them, and then that larger group of children could have gone to, you know, a park where they would, you know, dig holes or 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 build, um, you know, p you know, build those those like trail markers that you learn how to make in um, in Cub Scouts. You know, the the trail markers, or you put the the you put the the trail markers that you learn that you make in Cub Scouts, the ones that that help you um, you, you tie with string. Anyway, I don't know what these kids were doing. All I knew is that one of them was accusing me of not wearing, knowing where I was going. And uh, I found that to be a very um, stirring, um, if not somewhat hurtful experience, because it's not often that uh, a child is able to um, kind of shake me up a little bit like that. That, that, that really, um, really freaked me out. And I, I thought about all the different things that I could have said to the child. Uh, to make him um, upset. I could have said something really mean to the child that would have also made me feel really smart and made him maybe question um, his uh, confrontational attitude towards me. Um, it, it could have made him be like, oh, well, this guy does know where, he does know where he's going. He does uh, have a, a, a rich inner life and uh, I shouldn't bother him. I, 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 have, uh, I should be focused on making my day-to-day -day experience um, better rather than focused on you know, making someone else's experience harder. And that's, um, that's where the idea for Philip came from. Go to the phones and see what people are talking about. Alan, are you on the chat right there? Uh, yeah. Alan, what are people saying? Okay, people want to know, uh, does Philip know his parents? Does Philip know his parents? It's a great question. Uh, we're not going to answer that question. Uh, we have a lot of secrets that we want to keep about Philip, but that's a, a still a great question. Is Philip we have a phone be, call oh. right now. We've got, uh, hello, you're on the air with electronic game information. Did you guys watch, did you watch the video? 
Uh, yes, the, I did. Yeah, what'd you think? Did it answer? I think the, it was. I think it answered all the questions that I had. To be honest about Philip. About Philip, I think you, it was. I, I, it, be, it, on, it, hey, be, be honest like, with me. This is an open forum. This okay. is this, this isn't okay. this isn't a dictatorship. We're gonna it, you, just. You can be honest. I can be honest. Yeah. Okay. So what I think about Philip is that honestly, he's one of the most interesting side characters that I've seen in any game, and I can't wait to see how he develops as a character Absolutely. in the game that you made up. Well, you know, he's going to develop uh, over time, with, uh, and, and his story is going to develop. You had people asking uh, just a second ago in the chat with uh, what his deal with his parents are. We, you know, that's going to be something that we do answer. We're not going to answer it here tonight because that's a spoiler. Well, yeah, and, and I mean, I can't wait to see how you develop that. In terms you know? of the structure of the of the of the video itself, you know, I I, I think that it's important that we also you know. Pay, Pay attention to the fact that like people are going to be looking, they're going to be researching this game, they're going to be looking for information about it. Do you think that if you were uh, completely unfamiliar with the show this far and you saw that you saw that video, what would what it, what would it do for you? I think I would say this guy has ambition. This, this guy has a vision about what he wants for his game, and he ha he will find the means to do it. And I am interested in the game, and I want to see where it goes. Ambition, vision. These are strong words. Alan, did you hear that? Ambition uh, and vision. Ambition and vision. What are people saying about the, in the chat? Uh, e I N R S R S writes, does Philip give Spawn and Shadowhawk access you say that? to... Can you spell that again? E-I-N and then the, like the word R's with a Z. The like word R R's? Like... Like, like hours? Uh, no, I don't understand it, but they say... E wait, say it again. Hello? E Hi, you're on the phone with Electronic Game Information? It was a good question. Uh, it's, 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 hey. This is a uh, uh, fantastic uh, night so far. We've watched a, 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 this video. I, I spent a lot of time like putting a lot of work into. Um, what do you think? So, uh, well, my name is uh, Lord Tony, and I think it's great. Uh, okay? Yeah. But I think... I, I got an idea, okay? And you might, you might like this. So what if Philip's father is Hitler's turn? What did you just say? What if Philip's father is Hitler's turn? Hang up. Hang up on him. That's a you're, Hang up you're, on you're, him. you're crossing universes in a way that it, 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 it's 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 clashing. But but, but Spawn uh, is in the game too. But this, that makes but this, is, but this is set this is set in that in that universe. This is set in no, a, no. this is set in a specific universe. Okay, but but how come Headless Karn can't exist in this universe? First of all, Philip, can we? Philip has a head, right? Well, and he's, and, it, and it's off. on his neck. Okay, Headless Harn carries his head in the crook of his arm, except at key points in a in a in a one on one or or per, perhaps it's two on two battle. In, in okay, battle monsters, what okay. If, this isn't. It's okay, and also you're. It, it's like that's about battle monsters is is about a number of different things. It's it's 100 percent not set in 1600 colonial America. Well, couldn't they just travel in time? They already. You can't travel in time multiple times. It defeats the entire conceit. All right. You know there's 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 oh there's books on story structure. That you can check out from the library that'll explain these things to you. I mean, thank you for your okay. call, but you know, get your, you know, know your know, well, your, know your trade. Thank you for I'm your call. I'm very sorry. Thank you for your call. And what we got in the chat? We, we were talking about E I N R. -E -N -R -S. Is, 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 it, is it Eric E's? Is it Air Guys? I don't know. Like they the fighting game from uh, the the, play, the fi fighting game with Cloud in it. It's a really good question. They want to know, does Philip give Spawn and Shadowhawk access to special moves like in Chrono Trigger or Kingdom Hearts 3? Well, e Philip's, not, Philip's not in, in Chrono, Trigger or, or, uh, Chrono Trigger or Kingdom Hearts 3. And actually, I mean, I mean, I don't know. I mean, Kingdom Hearts 3 just came out. Okay. Hi, you're on the, you're on the air with Electronic Game Hello? Information. We're talking about the, the, the video that just came out. I mean, the, uh, the, the video we just watched uh, all about Philip. Answering some of the questions that people have about Philip? Uh, yeah, okay. So I was wondering, so I know that the last time you talked about, like, one of the encounters with the, uh, like, the creature yes. in Jasper's basement, I think you said that Philip was just sort of, like, hanging out in the background, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Just doing his thing. What was like, he does, doing there? So he does, 
What yeah, what was he doing there? Like, does he does he know anything like about the creature? Like, I mean, I know he knows a lot of stuff. It's like on the rooftops and stuff, seeing the things that everybody else doesn't see. But right, you know, so, like but how did he get, how did to the get creature the somehow? How did he get like, into what's a up basement? with Philip? Yeah, how did he, yeah. how did how did how did a kid? Hey, this is this is, you were asking me this earlier. How did a kid that hangs out on the rooftops? How does he get into a basement? Right. Yeah, that's the opposite that's of what he's usually doing. Exactly. What's he doing down there? What's he, yeah, so the answer to your question is that, uh, you know those uh, little uh, boxes that you keep your uh, belongings in in, in, uh, in in a basement? Yeah. Well, in 1600s colonial America, I don't... Um, sometimes they were uh, A-frame. Like a roof. A-frame? Yeah. So oh. he... You see where I'm going with this? He can... Move between oh, rooms. There's side of there. he so can, he's, he's, he's not just, ju- he's not just jumping keep... over people's heads, but maybe he's moving through space. He's going through. Um, if you think about like an air duct, but without any of the metal. Uh, what do they call that? Um, uh, vent, it, vent, venting. Without, without the vents. The vents. Great question. Thank you for your call. All right. Alan? Uh, yeah. What did you think of the video? Oh, uh, that was great. I love the video, Robbie. A-plus effort. Uh, good job. Thank you. It's important for me that people understand just as much as possible what I'm trying to say here in this game. You know, it's, it's, it's very, it's, it seems like people are, are getting it. They're, they're really getting it. Absolutely. I just w- I, 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 w- I wish you would explain a bit more about the combat. I think that's some what do you, on people's what do you mind. Mean? It, you often start talking about uh, game dynamics and like the combat, and then mm-hmm. you just say what game you dynamic. just get into what the characters are saying. And right. I just want—I think people want to know more about like what it's like to play the game. Okay, well, I made another video. Re- really? Yeah. And, wow. and this one's not about a character. Is it about? The com- no. It's about. Gloomsbrook. Uh, oh. We're gonna watch it, Alan. We're watching it. We're gonna watch another video. It's about Gloomsbrook. Robbie. This is this is this is this is the second developer diary that we that we are releasing for this That's game. So exciting! Uh, it's very exciting. We're we're can, trying to build up the hype. We're trying to build up momentum. Can I come watch it People, with you? What? Can I come watch it with you? Um, I I need you in the chat, Alan. I need you in the chat. <laughs> okay. I uh, okay. I want. I am co- I'm cold. It's cold in here, mm-hmm. and I um, well, it's, sm- it's starting to s- smell kind of crazy in here. And I I I want to go into the studio. If I could go into the studio area mm-hmm. with you, Alan. I think that would be fun for both of us. Well, and we look, could like hang out. Maybe there, you, I think you had, like I could bring had, s- you had, get snacks. You, you could have. Per- you, you, you're. you're <laughs> I need you in the chat. Okay, I, I, I need you there. Uh, we can't do the show as it's. Uh, as as, it, as we just, set out to do it, without you in the chat, I'm happy to be in the chat. I, I just I'm I'm starting to get really cold. I've been cold, and I and I just really want to warm up. And I just think if I warmed up, it would help me be, do a better job. Alan, I think you're you're. It's like temperature is one of those things that it's just all. Uh, it's 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 in the eye of the beholder. It's at, no. It's it's and I think uh, you're in a space. You're in a in a very special space that I think a lot of people would really appreciate being in. And I think you need to like. Just look inside of yourself and see that there's a way of existing there, and and not, uh, com- you know, you're you, you've been kind of com- complaining a lot, and okay. I just want you to appreciate the um, opportunity that, that we both have. It's not just your opportunity; this is my opportunity. I'm sorry. And this is just the way. It, you don't need to apologize. Just, I, just you know. Just I don't do. don't apologize to me. I do feel like uh, I, I, I need to apologize because I have been being rude. But one of the reasons I've been being rude is because I just don't feel good because I'm cold. Okay. Well, but we're I'm, gonna watch the video about Gloomsbrook, Alan. Are you excited about the video about Gloomsbrook? Yes, you're, I'm excited you're, about you're the video about Gloomsbrook. You're gonna, happy, you're gonna pay stay. attention to what people are saying about the the video when we play it, and you're gonna just you're gonna be okay. We're um, we're both gonna be fine. Look, you're cold in there. I'm warm as I'm just I'm warm as as, as warm can be in here. I, you know, if you could see a close-up of the t- of my head, you'd see well, beads you of should sweat. Come, we should. If you're warm, if you're warm, you should come in here and get cold. Because I'm cold, I can go in there and be warm. Do you, does that make sense? 
Mm, uh, well, we can talk about that another time. Uh, we're, we got a video to watch. Uh, let's let's cue the video and um, you guys take a look. Gloomsbrook is where the game begins. If you have an open world game, the initial area that you explore needs to be able to communicate the basic mechanics of the game that you are about to spend a lot of time playing. So to me, the idea of, of letting Spawn and Shadowhawk just sort of wander around in the open world um, kind of didn't seem nearly as interesting as having them be trapped in this space that forces them to go through um, different tutorials for several hours. And I think that that is an important part of any adventure game, is making sure that people um, know the intricacies of all the different systems as, as clearly as frank and as frankly as possible. Um, a lot of games these days are like, oh, well, we've done away with how to play this game or there's no tutorials we just sort of like make the player figure I got to figure it out and I find that to be very condescending I mean people say that they understand things but they don't and I think that's just a general observation of culture of the culture that we live in today is that people are like I understand this and it's like you know you don't understand this. the larger picture is is being missed because someone hasn't sat you down and and sort of laid out every every option for you as clearly as possible. I mean, you can't say that you understand anything because you don't understand anything. And the idea that you do understand anything without, without like, ex basically like those explicit moments, I think is very, um, I don't think, I don't think people understand. I, I don't, I, I think people are willing to say, are, are willing to say just about anything to, to get out of a, a little bit of light, of light, of light reading. And Gloomsbrook to me is a place of, it's not, it's not a place of challenges, it's a place of opportunities to learn. And people want to learn. I mean, your brain is, 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 starts dying at 21, you know? It's like your brain grows and grows and grows, and then at 21 it dies and dies and dies. So the idea that you would give, you would sort of like, uh, you know, obviously a 21 year old could play this game. That, they could play this game, but I mean, th we're thinking more of like the sort of sort of late twenties to uh, mid thirties audience for it, and those people's brains are dying, and so they need to uh, learn. They need to learn more things because the more that you learn, the more that your brain is act active, the less likely you are to suffer as you age. So you have to keep your brain active, and the and one of the things that you do to to make your brain. Um, stay active as you age is you learn new things and you learn things well if you if you if you try to skip a 45 minute tutorial on uh, you know melee combat versus projectile combat you're not going to go anywhere in this game uh, people will be able to take that knowledge and put it into and you know it's and it's it it's not like a, it's not like a, these things are going to be silos where like each each one has is walled off from the from the net each thing is walled off from the next each of these things communicate with the other thing and it's almost like you have a instead of you know if you think of just Gloomsbrook as a town this is a town with walls with walls and 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 rooms and houses and buildings and streets and, and dungeons, but it's also a place that is, there's constant flows of information. There's things uh, that are happening that affect one thing, there's something else happens and, and another thing has changed. When you extrapolate that and you get into what each one of those moments are, or each one of these little significant points, how they relate to the next significant point, or the point before it, or the point in front of it, or the point behind it, you're talking about a, a web of information that is dense and 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 varied and and detailed that can't fully be appreciated unless you put the time and effort into doing it. This isn't a game that's going to be fun to play. This is a game that is going to uh, challenge your ability to absorb information and to communicate that information to the people around you that's the people that are in the game that's the people that are outside of the game people will want to know what you're spending your time on and if you can't explain that to people 
If you can't explain how you spend your time in a game that stars Spawn and Shadowhawk in 1600s colonial America, you are going to get a lot of people who think that they know you, that they know what is happening to you. They don't know anything about you. They don't know anything about the, the richness of your internal life. They don't know about the thoughts that you share with your, they know about the thoughts that you share with them, but they don't know about the thoughts that you refused to share with anybody. There are things that are inside of your head that stay with you and, and, and that you keep just for yourself. And that's what this game is about. It's, it's, about, it's about the difference between uh, the, the internal uh, sort of machinations of systems and, and how they communicate with the outside world versus how they uh, work when they are completely compartmentalized and kept from people, when they are kept inside and, and buried uh, and are inscrutable. Alan? Yeah, Robbie. What are people saying in the chat? Come uh, on. Okay. Uh, I, 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 Taco I, I, Belly I'm shaking here. Taco like, Belly just... asks, "What is Gloomsbrook's main export?" That's a pretty What's good a question. What's main export? What's their, what, uh, yeah. uh, well, they're, 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 it's mostly an agrarian community. Uh, their main export would uh, would probably be things like uh, tobacco. Um, uh, that was something <laughs> that was very commonly exported. <laughs> Alan, I can't really <laughs> concentrate when you're. Uh, coughing. So if you need to do that, um, just move away from the microphone. Got it. Uh, the main export is is probably tobacco okay. and, uh, and and maybe uh, some. Uh, also, there's some uh, contraband. They're they're sending um, magical items that they they're not supposed to because of the, uh, the Christian um, Puritanism. Is there another question? Uh... Hey, come on. Oh, uh, can you ask Robbie if the game will have uh, cubbies for the wagon? Yeah, sure, cubbies for the wagon. Uh, yeah, all right. Obviously, you can call them cubbies. You can call them shelves or or or, or cabinets. Um, it, it's it's all the same thing. I looked it up. It's all in the thesaurus. Hi, you're on the air with Electronic Game Information. Uh, we're talking about uh, the game I made up. Uh, just showed a couple of developer diaries. Uh, trying to build up hype. Trying to build up some steam behind this thing. And uh, what'd you think? Uh, I thought it was all right. One thing I didn't get answered mm -hmm. is, is this a 2D game a 2D game or a 3D game? This is a 3D game, obviously. You can't have, there's, there's nothing, uh, what are you going to describe? How are you going to describe all these things? You have to have, th you have th three dimensions. You're going to have, okay. So I, I, everybody's uh -huh. talking about this thing with Dragon Quest XI. You can switch between having like a 3D view and, and like a kind of 16-bit view. I assume mm -hmm. that, that you're interested in this kind of, these kinds of things, and uh, you know yeah, that's uh, great. That's fine because you're, you're obviously you're 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 it's for the Switch, so it's got to be something that uh, you know saves battery life if you want to play Dragon Quest XI on the go. But uh, mm -hmm. with this game, we're not really we're not focused. We're we're sort of more focused on the hardcore PC audience. We're talking about your mm -hmm. uh, people that are going to buy a new PC when Cyberpunk comes out, uh, or uh, would uh, you know the Witcher Three people. That's what we're talking about. Okay. Okay. But do you think the Richard Witcher 3 people would want to read so much text? Yes. I mean, this is this is what I'm talking about, is that there's not a lot of um, examples of, 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 of games that, that force you to, to read. It's like... like it's, you know, like when, in, in school, when you're supposed to... Um, like you're about to take a test and you have a bunch of materials that you're supposed to look at. What is that called? I mean, studying. Yeah. So it, there's not a lot of games that make you do that, uh, and I think that this, that's one yeah, of the things I... that's that's really going to kind of put this put this in its own separate category, at least at, at least at the outset. Okay. So it's ho so I'm playing my homework. Yeah. I mean, uh, yes. And what does your homework do for you? It helps. Uh. Grow. I mean, it, it helps you. It, you learn how to learn. Helps. You learn how to learn. It grows your brain. How old are you? Uh, I'm 35. Okay, so you're already on the way out. So we need to figure <laughs> out. Uh, uh, you know, you, you have to. You have to spend that extra time uh, with you 
with with your with your mind. This is for you. This is for this is a game that is made for people just like you. For thirty five year olds who who have who know how they learn but need to learn how to learn better. And more. I see. And also about Spawn and Shadowhawk. Okay, okay, which is good cuz I know a decent amount about Spawn but I'd never heard of Shadowhawk. How is that po- how is that even possible? You're 35 years old? You're yeah. on a, you're, you're you're talking to me about uh, about video games. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know all about Spawn, you know nothing about uh, Jim Valentino's Shadowhawk? No, uh, he no, refu- I didn't get hey, raised right. He refuses to kill. Okay? Okay. But he breaks men's okay. spines. And that doesn't kill them? No, it paralyzes them from the waist down. Oh, this is a, okay. This was a superhero that, I mean, didn't play by the rules. Mm-hmm. Okay? Thank you for mm-hmm. your call. Thank you. Robbie, Co- yeah. Co- Early asks, is it cold in Gloomsbrook? Is, is Gloomsbrook it cold a Glo- good place or a bad it's place It's a wonderful to place. Live? Okay, can you type in something into the chat for me? Yes. Ask them where they live. Ask Co- Early, where do you Because it, it's, live? It, it, there's, a, so there's, there's ways that we can ex- I could explain this at length, or they could just ask, answer this question. I asked. Quickly. Okay, what, well, are other people answering for them? They said... Uh, they're not answering. Hello? Okay, well, the answer is Gloomsbrook is cold in the winter and warm in the summer. All right? It's just like normal. Yeah. Okay. Do we have any... We've got some calls coming in? We've got some calls coming in? Okay. Alan? Yeah. I'm hearing that you've got something uh, going on in, 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 your, in your area. I am... Guess who showed up in the chat? Wow. It's Banjo. <laughs> yes, it is I. What the hell are you doing in the chat? I've been alone for like weeks in the chat. And I, I just been <laughs> Banjo. Yeah, I, I hope you warm up, buddy. That's... Banjo. <laughs> Banjo. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, some of it's the cold. I think some of it's the isolation. Absolutely. I'm glad I could be uh, here as a friend for you. I'm so happy <laughs> to see you. Oh. Oh my God. Bitch. 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 Oh, I'm in over my head. Banjo, Banjo, don't leave. You're like a good Banjo. Banjo, oh. so happy to see you, man. I got it. Where you been all I gotta these ask. years? Banjo, where's Kazooie? Yes. <laughs> it's in my backpack. Hell yeah. Oh, my God. I'm so excited to see you. I'm so oh. excited to see you. You know, you just feel bad all day, and something like this happens. You got Banjo right here in the chat. We're having a, we're having just a hell of a time. I'm so glad we're having I a hell of a time. <laughs> yeah, because you, I yep. wanted to come this into is, the studio, but then I would have missed. This is fun for both of us. We're having missed, a very fun time. I would have missed Banjo. Banjo. He said, "Could you? He's in that backpack." Yeah. Go bring him out. <laughs> um, I'm not articulated enough to do that right now. I'm sorry. It's, it's okay, right. Banjo. Why? why? <laughs> Do what is do what's what comfortable it, for you, Banjo? Banjo Kazooie, mm-hmm. Banjo, you. you're gonna come back. What? Yeah. Why do I think that you're gonna you're come crash back? And I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna come back, and it's gonna be great. It's really gonna be like the collectathon we were dreaming about. This is so cool. What's your favorite egg color? Favorite egg color? Y- yeah. Blue. <laughs> So cool, Robbie. You want to ask a question to yeah, Banjo? Banjo, I gotta ask you uh, one one final question. Uh, it, it, that that Banjo flying game. What was what you was sorry, what was did... going what was going through your head? Well, I mean, I, I wanted to take a risk. I wanted to try to diversify. Mm-hmm. That's but what you know, I think maybe I stepped a little out of my bounds. Uh, you know, it, it's nobody's faulting you for it. It was a it was a fantastic chance. You got to take chances in life. 
life you can't you, life can't be boring. And and you know this right, be, well, better I than anybody you else. Feel me on this. I'm so happy uh, that you decided to stop by, Alan. Uh, if, 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 if this doesn't warm you up, I, I don't know what will. I'm, I feel warmer in my heart because I'm so blessed to be hanging out with Banjo from Banjo-Kazooie, Nuts and Bolts, or, or whatever it's called. Thank you for stopping by, Banjo. Thank you, Banjo. Thank you it so was, much. It was great to be here, Alan. Thank you for having me. I love well, you. I was, I was here too, Banjo, but that's okay. You, you, you got a busy life. I know how it is. I can't believe Banjo was there. Alan, how are you feeling? I've, how cool was that? That was amazing. Banjo. He was Banjo Kazooie. I feel like oh, I'm lightheaded. I'm like starstruck. I gotta lie down. Alan, you know what time it is, don't you? It's time for the list. Oh, okay. Tonight we got a we got a, a, a very special list. We've got a list of items that you can find in the games uh, the game that I made up. These we're, we're we're taking your calls. We're looking at the chat. Uh, if you've got some items that have been on your mind that uh, that aren't on the list that I'm I'm reading out, let's talk about them. Let's put them on the list if they if they should be on the list, and let's take them out if if they if they don't fit in. All right, so let's top uh, right off the stop. You got uh, uh, this is items. This is items or objects or artifacts that are in the game that I made up. Uh, we've got the small mirror, small. Uh, hand-sized mirror. Uh, small, you can fit your hand in the mirror, uh, hand and touch different dimensions. Uh, we've got uh, a, a river crossing a ferry. We got a, a ferry. It, it's a river, and you cross the river in a ferry or it's shuttle. I can't remember. It's we got one of those. That's an object that you find in the game. You have to get across uh, rivers. We're talking about New England. We're, if anybody out there in the world, uh, in, in in the chat, if you're from New England, you know we got rivers. If you're from from other parts of the country or other parts of the world, you, you've got them there too. You got to get across those somehow. This is before we had those big beautiful uh, bridges, uh, concrete bridges. Uh, you had to have the ferry or or the shuttle, and. In addition to that, you had to have the, the big, the long, long stick that you plunged into the river water and you pushed yourself through uh, across to the other side. Alan, what are people saying in, in the chat? Uh, people want to add a rake to a rake. the list. They uh, want, yeah. What are, I, I, there's no, th not necessary. Okay. They want to add a crossbow with fire stakes. A crossbow with fire sticks is a great idea. I think that we could uh, add those crossbows to Shadowhawk's uh, gauntlets. Okay. Uh, because you know, you, uh, Shadowhawk already has some some great uh, so great melee attacks that he can do with the claws on, on and the hands and the gauntlets. And if he could also get some slight range attack with the cha 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 with the uh, the crossbows, that would be something. And those those are on fire, Alan. That's what I was hearing. The fire yeah, on the one list. wanted fire, one wanted poison. Okay, poison. Uh, they want fingerless gloves on the list. People people don't use those poison arrows as much as they used to. Arrows or crossbow bolts. They don't use them as much as they as they should. But those are a great way if you're trying to, to get uh, if you're if you're trying to take your enemy down early on. If if I'm in a game and I have one of those crossbow bolt or uh, arrow poison dagger and I shoot it or take it and uh, it drops their 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 uh, health over time and that's that's a valuable thing if you're going to have a long battle you can start you can start off on top. Very cool. And we got another thing. We got another uh, thing on the list. We got uh, plates. Ooh. We got decorative plates. Uh, different decorative plates of different sizes. Uh, these are things that are going to be able to collect. Uh, we got ban we had banjo earlier. Uh, and banjo knows all about the co collecting things, the uh, musical notes, and, and what have you. And we're going to talk about plates because we're going to have one of those situ situations where a character in the game is going to let you get the plates, take them to the plates. You can sell them set. You can sell them individual plates and get a little bit of money for that, or you can sell them a set of plates and get extra money. And the uh, it's a multiplier, so you get different multiplier, more multipliers, more plates. They want to put salves on the list. Salves? Yeah, like a medical salve. Like a medical salve. Cut. We're gonna have to. You're, you're gonna have to. Alan, you're you're the medical expert, so you're gonna have to go online and figure out if uh, if the salves existed in that time period, because I think that we. we Definitely have some bandages. They definitely used, uh, you know, more homeopathic uh, remedies, band aids and uh, and. Uh, Hard alcohol for get the to burn and to um, to there and it, it's it stings. What do you call it? 
I don't know what you're talking about. There's antiseptics. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so we got antiseptics. We got. Uh, we also got the sword from No More Heroes, and we also got uh, the sword from Magic Sword. It's Capcom's Magic Sword. Great uh, arcade action game, multiplayer, uh, different levels. Alan, uh, what are people saying? They, what they want? They want to see boots that give you dash. Oh, right, boots, dash boots. We got a dash boots. We got to go. Uh, is yeah, what, uh, now this is a question that always comes up because people are always trying to put dash boots in just about everything. Just about everything they can put a dash boot into, they put the dash boot in, and uh, we're, there's two different things. You can have the dash boots that are just going to make you fast. It's just going to pick you up speed, right? Right. Just pick you up, and then you've got the ones that you, where, you, where you have to charge up a little bit, and then you run, and then you and you and you run, and you hit a wall, and you go through it, or you don't. Hmm. We got we got we got anyone? We got phone calls. We got people on people on the call. If you want to call in, give me some lists. Uh, give me some items to put on the list. We got some others uh, right here. We got uh, Philip's gloves. We got Philip. Uh, we we know that Philip has hands. He's got cal those callous hands of a man uh, that used to pull himself up into those roofs. Uh, he didn't always have uh, the hands like that. He used to have gloves, and you got to find those gloves. You got to bring them back to Philip. He's going to use those um, to smooth, smooth his hands. Back down, Robbie. Yes. What about like a pill that like Spawn could take and make him really small? Was that your idea or was that something in the chat? That was just my own idea for an item in, on this, the list. We, we're, we're trying to we're trying to get a. a we, could you what imagine people, how funny it would be if Spawn was small? Spawn and is his, a, you could Spawn, like his girlfriend. He's a big man. Like, he, he's he, a big man. He's been through a lot. I, I wish we have a phone call. I'd like to get to that, but let's uh, let's you know take your mind put put it away from the small spawn idea that's a it's not it's not gonna fit okay it's not it's, gonna go on the list not on the list you're on the air with electronic game information hi thank you for your call hi thank you for taking my call i Absolutely. think you need to add in collectible journal pages from philip that let you fill up his backstory and maybe find hidden power-up items okay can you say that uh that entire thing again but just say each word a little bit slow i'm having a little bit of a uh, problem hearing you we had a, a bit of a uh we had a bit of a uh banjo uh showed up I saw that, and I was it was you were it, 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 it kind of it kind of it kind of I mean we're happy, obviously, but it of threw course. us a little bit out of whack. So Remember now we're making it back. So Alan, hey, Alan, 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 you're having yeah, I can start I can see, too. You're gonna you're gonna get me going. You go start going. I'll start going. It's not gonna. It, we're not gonna go anywhere. We still got the list. All right. Okay. So say everything you, you had said in. to me earlier, but slow it down by fifty percent. Sure. Collectible journal pages from Philip that show that fill in his backstory and hopefully maybe get you a power up okay. in the end. Collectible journal pages. Now, where have we seen stuff like that before? A lot of different games. A lot of different games. Where's what, what, think about it in your head? Where's the first place that really jumps out to you? Uh, Mist. Mist. That's the first one. Not, not, read, Resident Evil. Right, not Resident Evil. Itchy Tasty. That was the first one I was serious in. Yeah. All right, so we got a collectible journal pages that's going to go on the list. Uh, thank you for your call. We got another caller on the air. Hi, you're on the air with electronic game information. We're talking about items uh, found in the game I made up on the list. We got uh, some. We, we've got some stuff that, that uh, input. We got collectible journal pages, and uh, we have a uh, uh, river crossing uh, stick. We, we have the ferry. So, do, do, are, is there a river in your? Where are you from? Um, well, in my hometown, there's a river. There was a river about five minutes from my house okay. in uh, California. A California river, uh, big rivers or little rivers? A big river is the Sacramento so, River. So you got a Sacramento River. You got, probably got one of those nice causeway concrete bridges that goes across it. Um, probably. Okay. So if in the old times, if you imagine like the gold rush when people were uh, coming out west for the first time in the 1860s, or you know, people, you know, who I'm talking about. The, 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 the European settlers that were essentially causing all the trouble, and but they cut. It was a problematic time, is what I'm trying to say. But they got across the river because they put the, the stick in the water. They pushed themselves over with the ferry. Oh, I didn't know about that. That's cool. That ha, that ha, is that has. That you, there was no other way to get across, unless you swam. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what is, is there anything on here that you feel like you are that we're missing? Um, not for the not for the river. I want to just suggest that you could get uh, different kinds of familiars that could help you. In different different kinds of familiars, like like your uh, like your, like your, your personas kind of thing. Uh, maybe something kind of close to that. Well, all right. Well, uh, that's that sounds great. That's going to be on the list. We got familiars. We got uh, collectible story pages. Alan, you got anything else? Yeah, they want a fishing lure, toilet paper, and typewriter ribbon. Okay, I'm going to add one last thing, and that thing is uh, ten dollars. Uh, 
$10 that you can spend on what you can spend it however you want. Uh, thank you so much. That was the list. I hope that you are uh, taking some time for yourself and protecting yourself. And when I say protecting yourself, I, you know, I, I obviously want you to protect your, your physical self, but it's very important you also protect what's inside of here. Because what's inside of here is so precious. It, it's, it's, it's all of these different things. It's, your, it's, it's all of these different thoughts and feelings and, and impulses and reactions that carry you through life, that, that, that bring you uh, great uh, success, that, that, that also bring you great failures. But it's all in here, and it, and it has to be uh, protected at all costs. Ask yourselves uh, this March, this Game Developers Conference, what you're doing to protect what's inside. Uh, the, 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 all of the aspects of, of you that, that are, are um, just hidden away in this big round thing that we have on top of our necks. The mind is um, a deep and wide ocean filled with uh with thoughts and miracles and beliefs and, and and sadness but it is the most important thing that we have i hope that you are all protecting your minds and that you're staying safe stay safe And that was our uh, coverage of Game Developers Conference uh, 2019 this uh, Thursday evening. Come back again next week. We are going to be doing our wrap-up coverage of the Game Developers Conference, everything that happened this, uh, this March and uh, with regards to the conference and with re regards to all of the uh, information that made it out into the world as a result of the conference. Uh, please send any uh, art that, ins that, that, that the show has inspired. Please send it to our email account, electronicgameinformation at gmail.com. Uh, thank you so much to Banjo Kazooie, or Banjo, not Banjo and Kazooie, but just Banjo. Kazooie, uh, I guess, didn't feel like making his, uh, his, his, his big appearance on the show, but uh, we'll, we'll have them back again. Hopefully, uh, another uh, platformer uh, starring, starring those two will come out. Alan, do you have anything uh, you'd like to add at the at, at, at the at the outs at the on, uh, at the end? <laughs> I just want to say thank you to the banjo for visiting me. I was it was so good to see banjo. It's really dark in here now. All right. Good night, Alan. Good night, Robbie. See you next week.